Meet Brett Johnson, your tour guide for the back alleys of the dark web. The Secret Service from Columbia, South Carolina, they called me the original internet godfather. I'm the guy that built what is today's dark net market. The credit cards, the tax scams, I was on the, the ground floor of developing that stuff and figuring out how criminals should go about ripping other people off. Using the hacker name Gollum Fun, Brett began connecting with hackers and scammers around the world in 2002. He founded an online group called Shadow Crew that quickly became an international crime syndicate. Shadow Crew is the first dark net market. It's the forerunner of all of today's cybercrime. It was loaded with the top tier criminals, just the worst of the worst. The dark net market system that Shadow Crew pioneered allowed hackers and criminals to connect and cooperate, pulling off scams and sharing information. It operated like a Wild West criminal form of eBay or Craigslist. Credit card numbers could be stolen in one country, sold in another, and the funds laundered through yet another. And just about anything could be bought and sold. Brett was at the center of this hidden web. So criminals see this way to remain anonymous online, and they're like, let's try that. All of a sudden, you've got all these criminals conducting business, and no one can figure out who they are. To give you an idea of how Shadow Crew operated, so Ukrainians were very good about getting the credit card numbers and everything. The United States people tended to cash out for the Ukrainians, and we ended up partnering together. When you look at cybercrime, people tend to specialize in one specific type of area. But eventually, the U.S. government's Operation Firewall brought down Shadow Crew. Federal agents had arrested a member named Kumba Johnny for credit card theft. He flipped and began working as an informant. On October 28, 2004, the ring came crashing down. When the Secret Service busted our site, we were 4,000 people total, but they arrested 33 people from 14 countries in a matter of hours. Actually, I didn't go to jail immediately. Uh, the Secret Service offered me a job. So idiot here takes the job and starts breaking the law while working for the Secret Service, sometimes from within their offices. Once they find out I'm ripping them off, I take off on a cross-country run, and I steal over $400,000 out of ATMs. I get placed on the United States Most Wanted list, get caught, get sent to prison, I escape from prison, get caught, and finally get sent to prison. When I got out, couldn't get a job, couldn't do anything else, and I went back to my old ways. I victimized everybody. I hurt uh, friends, family, people I didn't know. I was fortunate enough by that point in time, the woman who would be my wife, she had found me and she ends up saving me. If you're looking at the origins of credit theft, stolen credit cards. Today, after seven and a half years in prison, including hard time in Texas and eight months in solitary, Brett is no longer Gollum Fun and has found a new career as a cybercrime consultant, author, and educator. He gives presentations and seminars around the world, including to our AARP Fraud Fighter volunteers in Seattle. Brett credits the FBI and Secret Service agents who brought him down and put him behind bars with helping him find purpose in developing new ways to fight dark web crimes. He says it takes a criminal mind to get inside the methods of a dark web criminal, and he's trying to give back. I have a lot of people that, that help me out. Uh, the FBI, um, Identity Theft Resource Council, the Card Not Present group, all these people took me under their wing and gave me a, a, an opportunity to do things legally.